First day of summer vacation and finally time to wind down after a stressful six months. Today will just be about relaxing around the house, only doing things that makes me happy. I had some rough couple of weeks leading up to vacation, with cough so bad that I was bedridden for almost three weeks and even had to go to the ER. Now I am almost well with the exception of a tear in the ribcage muscles that still isn't fully healed. To start the day I made some fruit salad together with cork, at least I think that's how you pronounce it in English, a sort of in-between cottage cheese and yogurt. so we tried to get out early for a longer walk and then do short ones throughout the day. When we got back, Po went inside to hide in the shade and I finally got to do some garden work. The garden is in a miserable state after my sickness and I still have to be very careful not to overstrain my body, but it feels so good to see some progress even though it's going slow. I had gotten some new plants to fix this flower bed beside the porch. I went for a combination of different foxgloves, flat sea holly and green coneflower. The soil was very dry so I had to add in some new, so hopefully the plants will thrive. Then I changed my clothes and went down to the village to do some food shopping. And since I couldn't be bothered to cook, I made some tomato and mozzarella sandwiches for lunch. And yes, I do need to shop in my knife. After reading for a bit about human sacrifices in Iron Age Scandinavia, I went back outside to do the small patch we call our herb garden and plant some rosemary and basil. Neither of those will survive the winter up here, 
So we harvest what we can throughout the summer and then dry the rest before the frost comes. Sometimes they will last a little longer if brought inside for winter. In the evening I was amazed that I still had some energy left, so I made a dress for my niece's fourth birthday that is coming up. I found this fabric with her flowers and dollar collie and horses print that was just perfect for her. I hope to do some more sewing and other crafts now that I have some time off. It took longer to sew than it needed to because of my cats, who came in from being outside on adventures all day and now crave my attention. After the dress was done, I went to bed, tired but happy. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye!